run. Oh, he's gonna be running. Not as long as I show up, I guess. Are you feeling neglected? You shouldn't. You know Eddie Rodman's got love for you. Which is why I actually hauled myself out of bed before noon, just so I could record an interview. I have seen the darkness twist flesh into new shapes before. But encountering these giants is an extremely disturbing experience. It's as if the genre has been switched on me. There's something out of Pulp Fiction twice as tall as normal men and stronger than forklifts, their lumbering gait and slow-witted demeanor brings to mind some kind of mean-spirited caricature of a feeble-minded hillbilly. If you can call it a business, that's a little controversial, I know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> Emma wasn't sure exactly when the man arrived at the motel. But from what she could tell, the party started almost immediately. It was infectious, spreading from one room to another. He was mercurial, almost as if he was flickering through the scene, telling a joke here, throwing an insult there, oozing sex and violence and excitement. She had never seen someone like this before. He looked at her and smiled, and she felt her heart flutter a little. She knew he was the kind of man mothers warn their daughters about, but she told herself it didn't matter. So I've been thinking about Barry. I don't know what to do about him yet. I mean, I'm not gonna keep him around, that's for sure. Al, Al, ugh, little parasite. Your best friend, really. That's the best you can do. I actually kind of like the guy. He's a plucky little butterball. He plays the clown. That's a hard road to take. <laughs> but I don't need him sticking his fat face in my business. <sighs> Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff? From that shitty little town? They keep in touch. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. How about that? <sighs> I might keep him alive for a while. <sighs> Just to see him go to pieces when I fire his ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thanks for saving me again. I'd hate to die before I'm scheduled to be murdered. I guess I have you to thank for setting everything up at the oil, Derek. Yeah, well, I figured that if we were going to go over this again, we might as well try to be smart about it, huh? I appreciate it. You took a big chance doing that. You okay? What do you think? I've died twice. 
I remember everything pretty clearly now. You said I was gonna be okay. I don't know what happened. Well, it's not your fault. I think one of those, what did you call them? The, the takers? I think they did something to the power and they got me that way. I'm sorry. But I got the keys from the dead guy in that room. And I'm not handing them over until you do something about this. I'm sick of getting killed. Fair enough. You seem calmer now. I tried freaking out. Didn't do much good for me. I guess you get used to the craziest stuff. Good for you. Plus I figured I'd take the edge off, you know? Mm-hmm. Those herbal supplements are pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. I wanted to try to explain things to you now, since you're calmer, but maybe this isn't the best time after all. Oh, shit, yeah. Better not get all metaphysical on me now. Seriously, I'm like two sentences away from thinking how we could all be like atoms on God's skin or something. Or figments of somebody's imagination? Um, wow. Uh, I'm just gonna try to chill out and not think about that or, or getting murdered or anything, if you're cool with that. Gotcha. Okay. I really don't think they can get to the power now. Thank you. That's a relief. Um, here's the keys that you needed. Thank you. Hey, I have to tell you. At the diner, I went there with him. The guy who looks like you. Okay, I know I said that I didn't. Yeah, I figured. Want to talk about what happened at the diner? There was this guy from the observatory. And he just attacked the poor dude, smashed his face into the tabletop a bunch of times. It was horrible. I... I didn't know that he was gonna do that. I swear. And I just ran. I just left him there. I didn't even try to help. There was nothing you could have done. It's not your fault. Well, he's dead in that motel room now, so excuse me if I feel pretty shitty about it anyway. You shouldn't blame yourself. I just didn't want to get involved. I have this tendency to just drop everything and run. I don't think I'm a bad person, but I... I didn't even call the cops. I'm such a coward. If you'd called the cops, we'd have dead cops. He's not human. Do you understand? It's not your fault. But I could have tried to stop him. Believe me, if you had, you'd be dead. You seem to be doing a little better now. Yeah, I guess it just got easier once I got this thing off my chest. I just feel so guilty about it, especially because I didn't pick up on any of the warning signs. I just really liked hanging out with him, you know? He was smart and charming and funny and hot. The way you could be, I guess. I guess. What's the deal with this guy anyway? He looks like you, he uses your name. Why does he do this stuff? I'm not sure myself. Maybe he's just evil or my dark half. He does a lot of the stuff I'm trying really hard to get away from. Things that just messed up my life. I guess all those murders don't help either. Yeah, I could do without the murders in the end of the world. Listen, I need to get going. Yeah, go. I think I'm good now. I hope. Good luck. If it all goes well, maybe this is the last time we meet like this. God, wouldn't that be great? Just keep those lights on, okay?
fate of countless individuals hangs in the balance, threatened by the machinations of the Herald of Darkness. And yet, for a moment, the Champion of Light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. This act of creation is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. Ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow or go insane.
Just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then the stories about bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears, no doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were! But I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the laws of physics in my observatory. That's just rude. Are you all right? I'll live. I'm glad. I'll send the lift down to you. I remember our previous encounters very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. 
I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but- the signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally! If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. You know, I just realized that I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again, no more bad guys, things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Looks like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. Wake, at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. Whatever else this might be, it's absolutely fascinating. I wonder how far this reaches. Is everybody in the world experiencing this? Who knows? I think reality's probably pretty fragile right now. Doctor, I can see you're very enthusiastic about this. I'd appreciate a bit of discretion. Are you suggesting that we should suppress this? No. You can do what you like, but I want you to leave me out of it. But surely, with the things you know, the things you've experienced, you can replicate any of these results. We could- Let me be blunt. If you drag me into this, I'll deny everything. I'll lie like my life depended on it. And writers are damn good liars. Word of advice. This is things man was not meant to know territory. You get into this, chances are you'll open up a door into a world of hurt. Believe me, I know. I see. In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. Oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you?
never getting out of this, Wake. Never! Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. Do it, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This'll end up just like before! There's more to fighting the Taken than just burning away the darkness that protects them. When I'm fighting for my life, I find myself slipping into a state of intense concentration that makes the beam of my flashlight seem more powerful and focused. I used to think it was just my imagination, something brought on by the adrenaline and fear of death, but now I'm not so sure. I've been touched by powers that I can't begin to truly comprehend, and they've left a mark. I'm starting to think this might be a part of it. I've been around for a while now, you know? While you've been indisposed, stuck in the darkness, I've been busy. I operate in the shadows, not always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken, but I do my best work in the dark. Ah. And there's so much darkness out there! It goes deep, and the things that live in it are fast, big bastards. They don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. All that chaos and madness, it doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here, yeah, you can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you, you party pooper. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Everything else? Do my thing, get a bit of quality time with Alice. <laughs> That's a little something for me. And I deserve it.
Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. events or merely a dream, a memory or a glimpse of what is to come. One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away from Night Springs. <laughs> <laughs> 